we had this question that we want to ask the universe. And then we face this very traumatic space. And so we often do a lot of STEM outreach. It's a response to the experience we went through. We're motivated to make a change or do something differently so that the people who come after us in the next generation don't have to experience the traumas that we face. It is very different to walk and live and operate in a space where you don't see a reflection of yourself. And if you've never been in an environment where you haven't seen a reflection of yourself, it's pretty hard to explain. It can feel insurmountable at times. When things happen, we don't have to just accept them as a thing. We can do work, we can ask questions. We are entitled to be in this space just like anyone else. We can demand answers. The whole point of Vanguard STEM is to create a movement of women of color STEM who are empowered to advocate for ourselves. And yes. that empowerment happens by being whole and, and healthy in a holistic way. I don't want to be against academia or the idea of ideas and knowledge production, but I don't want to be invested in a knowledge production that dehumanizes me. Science, STEM, it cannot be divorced from people who are doing it, and it can't be divorced from the culture in which it's done. For me, Vanguard STEM and this community has really been something that I didn't know I was missing until I found it. And so I found it, I sent and I was like, that's it. <laughs> What we talk about is changing the way that the system enterprise works and how it functions and how we are equipping women of color, girls of color yep. to, to work in the spaces. There are some days when you will not, you won't have it in you to do, to fight, to the fight, to do the thing, to be the strong one. And that's okay. Go sit down. Go take a nap. You've got to take care of yourself because you yourself, you are valuable regardless of all the other things you're doing. We're going to keep writing thought pieces and we're going to keep, you know, pushing in neuroscience and astrophysics and biochemistry. So I also want to emphasize that you should always be thinking not just about your people, but who you can take with you, that you want to take everyone with you. And a lot of people will say it takes a village to raise a PhD holder. We feel like it takes a village to create a STEM game changer.